Let's say there was an airline, and that airline had animals on the tails of their planes. Well, suppose you brought those animals to life, and people loved them. In fact, the animals became so popular, they helped make Frontier Denver's favorite airline. Local residents ranked Frontier first as their favorite carrier. Which got the animals thinking. Who is Denver's favorite animal? My name is Griswold, and I'm Denver's favorite animal. Get out of here. I'm Denver's favorite animal. That's no why they sent me way. to Mexico. They say you're Mexico, Mexico you're cause they Mexico. hate you. So let's say the animals hold an election where they compete for the title of Denver's favorite animal. They make campaign posters. They put up billboards and lawn signs. They create an interactive website where people can vote for them. And they make lots and lots of commercials that go something like this. The all-you-can-eat buffet, a great big slice of Americana. And if you vote Griswold as Denver's favorite animal, he'll install one on every Frontier flight. You know, when I was a kid, my dad would say, Jack, some people see the glass as half empty, but you see the glass as half full. Of course, he usually had schnapps in his glass, but the point is, I think that's why I spent three years overseas. Hector doesn't need a political platform. He just likes to soak up the rays, look cute, and make lots of squishy sounds with his cheeks. So imagine the public plays along. They love it. They're voting at sporting events, schools, airports, hospitals, even ski resorts. Online, they log over a million votes, post nearly 4,000 comments, and buy over 1,200 press kits. They even form voting coalitions to put their candidate in the lead. What if the only female character, Foxy, isn't in the election? and several political groups like Progress Now and the White House Project want Foxy to run. Let's say they get over a thousand people to sign a petition and hold a press conference and create their very own Foxy commercial. Here are the candidates for Denver's favorite animal. What do they all have in common? They're all men. So let's say the campaign is everywhere. It's on YouTube and iTunes, on blogs and forums. It's all over the news. They are probably the most recognizable faces in the sky, but which one is your favorite? Griswold, Griswold the bear. Mm -hmm. Absolutely, he's, a, he's the bomb. Jack's got your back. How nice you swag there, Dave. I like uh, the bear and also the dolphin. I like it when they swapped yeah. out his sunscreen. Someone replace my sunscreen with baby oil! <laughs> So whoever came up with that marketing plan. Yeah, I'll tell you what, they've uh, done a great job. It they is really fantastic. Work. My kids look forward to those commercials. They love them. Suppose we were announcing the winner during the Academy Awards, and we were hoping a certain animal would win. Happy feet. Because moments later, we were going to announce our winner. The winner is the penguins. It worked! <laughs> the penguins? Are you kidding me? After months of campaigning and ads, we now have a winner. It's the election for Denver's favorite animal, and the results are in. This is so exciting. It's not from Hollywood, but from DIA. Four flightless birds take top honors. The airline says they picked up three million votes. The penguins say the movie Happy Feet probably helped their cause. Frontier couldn't be happier with the results. They increased web traffic by 43% online bookings by 26%, and email hot leads by nearly 400%, leaving everyone happy with the results. Uh, pardon me, Chief, but I didn't win shit. Those penguins in their rented tuxedos stole the election. Not that I'm bitter or anything.